What's up guys, this is Andrew and we just had a really good training session here at Gladiators Academy in Baton Rouge. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys a technique we use to take the back from the side control position. Alright, so we'll have a Josh Mancuso. He's going to be uh, on his back and we're going to assume right now that the guy has some idea how to defend himself from this position. That he has some experience with Jiu-Jitsu. So he's going to be keeping his arms in and his elbows kind of tight like this. Right? He also might be uh, fighting for an underhook, but this technique will work for this uh, as well. So from here, I'll start with a basic uh, side control position that I like to use. And uh, because I want to focus on the taking the back technique, I don't want to get talking too much about side control. But um, it's important to understand that uh, as I'm uh, doing this technique, as I'm shifting from one position to another, I need to maintain good side control which means that I always need to make sure that I'm doing something to check this hip and prevent him from uh, replacing the guard. And also that I'm using my hips and my body to keep weight down so that it's hard for him to move around. Okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just switch my grip. I'll take his hand and I'll make kind of a backstroke motion here. And I'm just gonna press this arm against his hip. And I'm gonna fully extend this arm so it's gonna work like a rod. And if he starts to replace his guard, this will get in the way, okay? This other hand at the same time is gonna come around and start to scoop under his elbow just like this. And what I'll do then is I'll shift my legs and I'm gonna start moving uh, kind of towards a north-south position. So maintaining the pressure here, I'm gonna start to move but I keep the weight on him and I'm gonna be scooping with this hand and with his forearm to try to get my forearm under his elbow right here until I'm about at north-south, okay? Now, sometimes what's gonna happen is a guy will start to move that way. All right, now if he doesn't, I still have this point of leverage right here I can use to pull him just a little bit. So if he turns that way, I'm gonna take this wrist, get as deep as I can, and I want my wrist under his armpit, my chest pressing this way, and it should feel like a tourniquet on his arm, okay? I should be creating a lot of pressure right here. I'm gonna gradually move my hips this way, and then with this hand, I'll come around, and I like to use a gable grip from right here. Okay, I'm gonna clamp, and then I'll slide my hips back, and I need to make sure that my chest is touching his back. All right, once I have this position secured with my trusty gable grip and my position here, I'm gonna bring my hips right against his back here and at the same time, I'm gonna pull him into me. This way, all right? Now I don't know exactly how he's gonna react from here. There's a good chance that a skilled practitioner will bring his knee up to prevent me from getting this hook, right? But that's okay, because what I'm gonna do is lean this way just a little bit, I'm gonna take this foot and put it right about where his thigh is. And now, I'm gonna let you go just for a second, Josh. The uh, motion I'm gonna do is a nice little lazy boy recliner move, just like this. I'm gonna push with my leg and extend back this way. Nice and easy, okay? So this is the motion. So once more, with Mancuso, I'm here. <laughs> Hips in, and by the way, for you guys who can't see, this other leg is tucked under his back. Okay, because when I start to pull him under, this leg's gonna slip around and go for that opposite hook. It'll make sense in just a second. I'll put this here. I'm gonna lean back, recline, push with this foot, and try to take the back right there, okay? Now as I turn, I use this gable grip to pull, and I push with my hips to straighten him out. Now when I flip, he might bring that knee up to stop me, right? But that's okay, I have this grip, I'm pushing with my hips. I'll just put the, my foot there and push the same way I did a second ago to get that back in, okay? Now one other thing, guys. From this position, sometimes I might even get my foot in here and he might start to put me in a half guard. Yeah, but that's all right. As long as my chest is to his back, I'm just gonna curl my toes, kinda like I'm doing a butterfly sweep. I'm gonna pull and do the same motion, but use this hook to get him over this way. All right, so one more time, guys. From the side control position, I start here, I switch my hands and my legs, I start to move towards kind of a north-south position where I'm always fighting to get this wrist under his elbow here, okay? Now if he turns that way, I'll take this, if not, I'll use this point of leverage to try to push him in that direction, okay? Now I'll move around to here, take this arm, get my gable grip, make sure that my chest is to his back, and I'm gonna pull with this grip and get my hips right under him here and try to keep his uh, back right to my chest. This is real important, and we'll assume it'll bring his knee in. A lot of guys are probably gonna do something like this. So I'll just push my foot there, and lazy boy recliner back. Okay, and if he defends with this leg, 
That's okay. I'm going to start to push. Push my foot there. Same motion. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hope this helps.